Hi everyone, this is Jordan from Uprint SA in South Africa, Durban. Uh, we have exciting news. We're gonna, I'm going to show you how to install our new RIV software. Um, some cool features is our new costing feature where you can um, literally see the cost of your paper and toners, even bolts, and um, we'll get into that right now. All right, guys. Uh, first, first and foremost, there is um, this is for an upgraded uh, RIP software setting. If anyone who has my original Print Pro software, that's what it looks like. Um, you can use the existing dongle and disk uh, to install the upgrade. I will be sending out upgrades for all my existing clients. For the people that are buying a new uh, RIP software, it comes with a disk and it comes with a dongle, which is in the shape of a USB. It's very important to have that USB on you at all times. Um, and to the existing clients, you can use your do your existing dongle and disk to install the new RIP software. It does not take your old RIP software away. You can still use it on the same dongle. Um, all you're doing is using the same dongle and disk to run your new Print Pro software. All right, guys, let's jump into it. We're gonna install the new software. First things, uh, f uh, first thing you need to do is install your your drivers. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, your next. Accept. Next. All right, so it's installing your drivers. It's very important to install your drivers first before you install the the RIP software. All right, it's done. Drivers have been installed device is ready to use I'm gonna say finish okay so now you've installed your drivers um, let's say agree to this install your Microsoft Visual C plus uh, 2012 okay successfully installed we then gonna move on to our print pro software you're gonna go straight to installation setup print pro okay next next I do agree Okay, my CD key I'm using here is a demo version. Um, please do not copy this key. You must use your own CD key on your disk. It will not work if you use this CD key. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and type that in. I'm going to click next. All right, my name, Jordan, company name, Uprint. Digital Direct. Okay, serial key is demo. Please use your serial key on your disk. Guys, it's very important that you do that. I'm going to be using this for myself, so I'm going to say just for me. Click next, and it will start installing. And there we go guys we're done all right so this is your new print pro logo i'm going to bring it up here i'm going to say no because i've already installed it you're going to get that option guys you when you're installing your disk uh when you're using a disk and you're installing this for the first time when you place your disk inside and put in your computer it's going to want you to install um your print pro first which is fine um install your print pro then it's going to bring up this icon um, you want? Do you want to install your HASP drivers? You're going to click yes. You install your drivers, and then you can use your RIP software after that. I've already installed my drivers, so I'm going to click no, and we're going to move straight into here. I'm going to just going to say close on that, cancel, and I'm going to go print pro. Click on that. All right, guys. This is the new RIP software. Very exciting. Um, looks all good and dandy uh, what you need to do guys once it's set up I want you to exit and I want you to try re I want you to restart your computer uh, I will not need to do this because I've installed the software a couple times on my computer it's got it saved settings so I want you to restart your computer after you've done this all right I'm gonna move straight into it after you've done your, your restart you come into your rip your print pro software 
um, and we're going to go if I'm, I'm using an inter internet cable to uh, connect to my printer so what I do first and foremost is I go home and I go printer ports all right I go TCP dash sorry slash IP click on that there's my IP address already set up but now guys if you're using an internet cable and you want to add your IP address you click in here and you put your printer's IP address you go to your printer and you look for your IP address I do have a training video on my training app um, how to fix your IP address so your IP address doesn't change um, uh, during the process of using a printer um, get your IP address fixed first then put the fixed IP address in here you can press OK I've already got mine I'm just gonna exit that there's mine right there alright so I'm just gonna click finish once I've added it I'm then gonna go um, to print I'm gonna go print setup Okay, this is where you're going to set up your, your printer. First thing first thing to do here is your environment. You want to take a, click on custom, you want to click on the plus sign, and you're going to go color media. So C711 color, color media. Alright, next thing we're going to do is you're going to go multi purpose tray. Alright, it would be on auto when you see it uh, um, for the first time popping up. Again, I have existing settings on here, so it's already saved it for me. You're going to go multi purpose tray. You're going to go iOS A4. Alright, you're going to come down to here. You're going to go millimeters, not inches. Or if you're in a, obviously in America or in the uh, European countries and you work in inches, you can work in inches. But we work in millimeters in South Africa. You can change your unit price over there. Alright, your printer name. I've named my printer name Shop Floor. Or it should pop a shop, a shop floor. You can customize that if you want. Select the printer. You're then going to go properties. Um, there's nothing you need to change in here. What you can do is just so you can go multi-purpose tray. It might pop as po it might pop up as auto. You can go multi-purpose tray, and it also might pop up as a custom or full size here. Go to iOS A4. We're going to go across to ink assignment, guys. Your your ink assignment will pop up like this. It will come up as cyan first. It will look like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to slot number one, you're going to go white, and you're going to put this as cyan. All right. Um, we are then going to go across to color correction. All right. Don't worry about that. You're going to go to color correction. There's nothing you need to change here. Device and options. Okay, guys, your resolution, you can go to a 600 by 1200. But what we use is 600 by 600 is it's definitely in high quality every image is going to be pr uh, printed in high quality don't worry too much about resolution you can change it to high if you want to but it doesn't really make a difference very important guys must go to 200 LPR um, it will give you a better um, a d definitely d better uh, image okay uh, everything else is in check so it's just changing your resolution and your LPR you are then gonna go set as default Okay, sorry, we're going to go back to media and set as default. What's it saying? All right. Ignore that. Going to go straight to OK. Once you set up everything here, you're going to go to this little save environment, OK? You're going to click on save environment. You're going to go down to color media, C7 color media. Do not press on anything else, guys. It's very important. You're going to go save. It's going to say existing. So you're going to say yes. It overwrites it, set as default printer model. You must do that after you've saved your uh, environments. You're going to press OK. All right, guys, there's your environment up there. It's been saved. There's your uh, size of your page. It's been saved. And there's your resolution. It's been saved. All right, we're going to go ahead and now bring in a graphic. Okay, I'm going to go to my recent documents, or I'll just go to open. Um, let's go. Okay, I'm just going to use this one I've been using alright guys there it is it pops up um, you can see it's got a white background very cool on this uh, print pro software you can go straight to transparency and it will remove the transparency for you it's the same thing as my old rip software if you want to take out a different color you can go over your um, your red you hold down control left click holding left click down you release and it only takes out the red it does default white, so I'm going to go cancel here. Okay, it goes back to normal. I'm going to go back to transparency. It defaults white, meaning it takes out white originally. 
you don't have to do it um, as soon as you open so I'm gonna press OK it now has a transparent background we can zoom into that just to take a look at what we're dealing with it's remove the white background um, and we can now go ahead and print that okay uh, I'm gonna go back to um, print okay I'm gonna go print preview you can click on here this guys is previewing before you print it, it's very important if you're doing transfer printing that you mirror your object in this case it has been mirrored in uh, the the design software I use Corel draw so you don't need to mirror it here what happens here is what's going to happen uh, uh, on the page when it goes through the printer um, it generally doesn't look the same uh, on on the, uh, the desktop okay so print preview what you can do guys if you're printing on say a yellow plastic you can check what it's going to look like you can go on a, a purple um, on a brown and you can see what it's going to look like us it's very uh, unique process all right print okay we've done that we're going to go out of here again okay guys this is your um let's say for instance you're printing onto uh, stainless steel or you're printing into a darker uh, product this is your white center base for stainless steel i would go 30 percent just for an example and you're always going to put on the fly all right We've got 30% white underbase on the fly. Always put on the fly when you're putting a white underbase down. Your fuzziness is your half tones. Please remember that's your half tones. Don't go higher than 15% on any of your products if there's half tones in it. Always stay below 15. Try to maintain a minimum of 10%, 15 being the highest. Um, and then, guys, very excitingly, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring in a, a product that I can open up. Uh, for t-shirt printing so I'm gonna go back out here I'm just gonna go to my desktop I'm gonna get something that I have used for t-shirt printing as ex examples here um, Titan PSD okay this is a nice big bright color okay so what we're gonna what I'm gonna show you here guys is rasterization very exciting for your uh, guys that are printing on shirts and they want to reduce the toners they just want to make the, the t-shirt feel more um, more like a, a silk screen make the 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 graphic feel less heavier on the shirts because it's a direct to garment print okay so we're going to go across to that now always put white center base on the fly and when you get to here you can either go dark garment so if you're printing on a, a darker shirt your blacks your browns your reds it goes dark garment um, and i'll show you examples after this video of what it looks like on a page Okay, you can go dark almond uh, rasterization, light almond, but I like to go constant mask, which gives you the proper dots. Um, this is your angle of your dots, your minimum of your dots, your ruling. Um, it's basically the spacing between the dots, the size of the dots. Um, we'll go into more depth and detail when I do launch a t-shirt printing uh, video on the software. I actually got to show you the proof, um, but I'm just showing you that you can do constant mask, your light almond, and dark almond. You can even go into uh, your dot forms. It can be so circular dots, your growing circle dots, hollow circle dots. You've got a whole bunch of different rasterization um, effects that you can use here, different patterns. Um, you can get really creative with the software. It's very, very exciting, guys. Uh, again, I'm going to show you an example in the next video on uh, when we're printing on shirts using rasterization with our new software. I will not show it to you in this video. This video is purely based on just showing you the, the fundamentals and then how to install uh, the process. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go straight into printing uh, this graphic here. And I'm going to print this one too. Um, let's go ahead and do that now. So I've printed that. Remember, 30% white on the fly. I have not put any fuzziness. I'm going to say none here so it doesn't give you the rasterization. Uh, and we're going to go print the image. Okay printed image it's spooling over here okay so my mine's gone through there it's gone through there it says print done okay guys get your, your costing which is the most exciting part about this whole rib software your costing you're going to click on your plus sign all right there is a breakdown of what i've printed on these let's zoom out here uh, zoom to fit I've got about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 across. 14 times 8, 80, 2404 graphics on one page. Um, so let's take a look at this. Your input, 
Okay, I'm gonna bring this across here. Input RGB. Um, printer model gives you all media type. I'm gonna scroll down in here. You can go across here to scroll down. So I'm gonna go down to here. All right, gives you your toner coverage. Now your sign equals 6.5%. It actually gives you the percentage of each toner that's getting laid down. So guys, very importantly, if you've got a big printing job um, and you have to do say 10,000 uh, prints, you can see before you're doing the printing which toner is getting used the most in this in this artwork. So you can plan for um, any eventuality. If you if your sign is already halfway down and you're using mostly sign, you must make sure to buy an extra toner to do this printing job. So you don't have to go while halfway through the job go and buy a toner and it's wasted a lot of time and you don't meet your schedule or the the, the job uh, the job schedule. All right. Uh, next, we're going to look at your toner and plus drum uh, image drum cost. All right. The total cost of that entire page that I just had there right now of the 104 graphics is two rand eighty seven. Um, guys, it's very cheap. Um, that's not a lot of money. Um, this very cost effective way of printing. All right, um, an additional cost, what we do now, we can add our marine paper. You can see I've added in my marine A plus B paper. So this obviously won't be printing on shirts. I will move, if you want to add in uh, the yellow paper or digital, or if you want to add in your silicon paper, uh, candle printing paper, we can add the cost into there. Um, I will show you that at a later stage. Um, there you can see your total cost being 26 Rand 92. That's including the marine AB paper and your image plus uh, toner cost. So guys, there we go. We've got your image, to image cost, toner cost, and the paper cost, all three right there in front of you um, before you even start a printing job. So you can now do your costings a lot better. You can make more profit. Everything's going to be more structured. Um, and I hope you guys really like the software. If you have any questions, please just feel free to phone me or uh, email us. Um, I will be uh, adding up. I will be adding up an email on the screen. Um, yes, thanks, guys. Have a lovely day.